Hello everyone and welcome back to another Engineering Statics lecture video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are ready to learn, so let's get started. So the next question becomes, all right, I'm now the expert of the dot product. What can I do with the dot product? Well, we're going to answer that first question we talked about, which is the angle between vectors. I almost guarantee you at some point in your midterm, one of the questions or part of the question will be the angle between two vectors. It's very important. What we're going to do is we can use the dot product to find the angle between two vectors. Now, let's say I wanted the angle between a force vector and a position vector. Well, all I have to do is use my specific formula that I had before. As we can see, I have a nice cosine theta. I can figure it out. Now, this is where I'm going to really emphasize what I said before in where it doesn't matter which two vectors you dot together, it'll always work. So let's say in this particular case, the red vector was our force vector and the purple vector is actually our position vector, I can use the formula on the left to find this angle theta. So normally when students see this angle between vectors, they think, oh, I need to convert the position vector to a force vector and then dot the two force vectors together. Now you can do that, it's gonna give you the right answer, but it's that extra step of converting the position vector to a force vector that's gonna take up your time. Again, the key to these exams in engineering is solving things as efficiently as possible so you have enough time to finish the exam. That's the major problem. So any sort of trick you guys know will always help you. Now you guys may be saying, all right, Clayton, well, I'm going to believe that it doesn't matter which vector, but how can you prove it to me? Well, it's simple. If we were to rearrange the formula, we get this, where the cosine of theta, which is the angle between the two vectors, is equal to f dot r divided by the magnitude of f divided by the magnitude of r. Now notice how we're dividing by the magnitude of both of the vectors. And we remember before, when we divide by the magnitude, we're essentially getting unit vectors. And that's what we're essentially doing, is we're taking these two vectors, we're scaling them down to unit vectors, and then calculating the angle between two unit vectors. And that's why it's valid, because we're not actually dotting a force vector and a position vector, we're basically just dotting two unitless vectors together to get the angles. Now, this is nice because we can expand this above because we know what f dot r is. It's going to be the x component of f multiplied by the x component of r plus the y component of f multiplied by the y component of r, etc. And we have this nice formula. So in an exam type scenario where they ever say, give me the angle between these two vectors, if you know the components of both of the vectors, you can find the magnitude, so that's everything in the denominator, and you have everything for the numerator, therefore you guys can very quickly solve for everything. Because we know the right hand side, and now we know what the left-hand side is. Now, there's one more trick that I'll save you guys some time, and that is this. If we look at this formula, it's dependent on the magnitude of the vectors we want to dot together, aka the two vectors we want to find the angle between. Now, remember that the magnitude of a unit vector is actually equal to one. That's gonna be a very important thing here because if we look at the denominator and we want to dot two unit vectors together or find the angle between two unit vectors, well, the bottom is going to be 1 times 1, which is just 1. So if I have two unit vectors, well, the angle between them, cosine theta, is simply just going to be the dot product of them. I don't have to divide by the magnitude, which is great. So that's kind of another little thing to save us some time. So that's going to answer the first question, the angle between vectors. So yeah, that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for listening. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.